Hi, in this video I will show you how to solve a maximum subarray from lead code. The question says, given an integer array, nums, find the contiguous subarray which has the largest sum and return its sum. A subarray is a contiguous part of an array. So the question basically asks, what is the maximum number you can get if you added fo um, following numbers in this list? So, for example, minus 2 and 1, is that the maximum number you can get? Or is it minus 2 plus 1 plus minus 3 plus 4? Or is it these lists? Or is it this? So where can we get the maximum number of contiguous arrays in this list? Well, one way to do this is... We can start by looking at this number here and assuming that if it's a negative number, then it's not really going to go far, is it? So we need to find the largest sum. If it's a negative number, we will ignore it and look at the next number. So let's say we start here and we look at minus 2 and say, well, it's a negative 2. Let's see if we can do better. I go to the next number and I find that it's 1. So the next number right here is 1. If I add 1 and minus 3, I get minus 2. Well, this is negative, so we can also leave it here. Let's jump to the next number. I get 4. What happens if I add 4 to minus 3? Well, I get 3, which is quite positive. Then I can continue. What happens if I add 3 to 2? Then it becomes 5. So you see what I did here? What I, This 5 here is this subarray here. 4 plus minus 1 plus 2, it gives me 5. Now I can move on, plus 1, so that will be 6. So then the, the sum of this subarray is 6. If I minus it by 5, I get 1. And then if I add 1 to 4, then I get 5. So the maximum number I can get in this subarray, this is in, in, in a contiguous way, is actually 6. So the max of this list is 6. It doesn't ask you to return the indexes, but this is enough. So how can we code this? Well, we can start by uh, looping. We can say for i range len o nums. Okay, I'm just going to put pass here for a second. And we start, when we do this, we start at this index. But to make this more efficient, what we can do if I write back these original numbers, minus 2, 1, minus 3, 4, minus 1, 2, 1, minus 5, 4, which is what the question is asking. If I start by pointing right here and then comparing this number, making sure this number is higher than 0, if I check this number and this number is higher than 0, then I can add it to this number and update the position of this number. So I can do this by just doing one here, so that I start here instead of starting here. And then what I can do is check if the previous number, so my index is pointing here. What I can do is, hey, check the previous index, which in this case, it's minus two. Can you please check if this is bigger than zero? In this case, is it bigger than zero? No, it's not bigger than zero. Okay, nothing to do. Move on to the next one which is, oh, move on to the next one, which is right here. And so this will be i equal to, and check, hey, is this a positive number? Yes, it's a positive number. Okay, then I'm going to start my subarray from here. And can you add both of these numbers together and update this position here with the sum, which is in this case was minus two. So in order to do that, we just say nums of index, so in this case it will be 2, updated by adding whatever is in the previous value. And then once for I, for index, so once you've finished with this list, just return the max of my list. And I see I used yeah index. I'm trying to get used to using index instead of i since it's clearer to read. And here we see we managed to answer the question. Please let me know. If you have any questions, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so I can create more similar content. Thank you for watching.